This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my wonderful peeps So by now I am assuming that all West Indies fans would be aware of what went down yesterday between England and West Indies. So what I want to do is just share an article with you guys that I'm seeing here on the Sportsmax website. You know, where Captain Kyron Pollard was addressing the media, talking to the fans and talking about the performance and thing. I won't actually do a, a, a recap of the thing because we did that yesterday. So I'll just read the article and give you my opinion in between. But before we go down into that, I'm just going to ask you to get that golden rule out of the way, which is to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and drop a comment. All right, so the ar article on the Sportsmax website it, um, is entitled, Pollard says Windy's batting in England drubbing was unacceptable. I am happy that he knows that. <laughs> no, the article starts, starts off by saying West Indies captain, Kyron Pollard, said the T20 World Cup defending champions would have to take a wrenched performance against England on the chin. So, you know, obviously he's saying that there is no excuse. You know, they can't defend that sort of performance. They just have to take it and decide and know that they will have to come better in the next game. Right, um, it goes on to say a desperate 55 all out from West Indies allowed England to sprint to a six wicket victory in Dubai with the Group One clash, um, a rematch of the 2016 final. You know, and we all remember what happened in that final where Carlos Bradway hit those um sixes to, to take us over the line. You understand? So, I am sure that England would have enjoyed the victory more. If it, if it was just a regular win, you know, without um, that, you know, we know what happened in 2016. So if that hadn't hadn't happened, then, you know, they probably wouldn't have enjoyed the victory that much. So I guess they see it as revenge. Now, it, the article continues and said, England's small measure of um, revenge for the heartbreaking defeat stemmed from West Indies posting the second lowest T20 international total by a test play nation. You hear that? Second lowest. Now it says, Pollard said, being bowled out for 50 odd as an international team is never acceptable, but will come back stronger. And I am hoping that coming back stronger means that they will win the next game. Because if they make if they make 56 in the next game or 57, you know, that, <laughs> it might sound away, but that is coming back stronger. I am hoping that coming back stronger is not just about an improved performance, but also a performance dominant enough to make a statement. That is what we want. Not just an improved performance to win, but a, a performance dominant enough to make a statement and to raise eyebrows to let people say, know that, hear what, we are still here, right? Now, it continues by saying, Pollard explained, and I quote, we didn't bat well, and it's disappointing to start our tournament um, like that, being defending champions. Goes on to say, but we have to accept it and take responsibility for what happened out there. We have to put this game abed and move on. You are definitely correct. They have to take it because, you know, they have to take responsibility. There is nothing else that can be that can come out of this. They asked us to stop the noise and support the team. We decided that year what? We're going to put this thing behind us about who, who isn't in the 15-man squad, who isn't in the, in the reserve and support the team and this is what we get. So they can't expect that we're going to just take this on the chin and sit down and don't say anything and just laugh and hope that they come good. We have to, we have to talk about what happened. You understand? Now, Pollard also went on to say that, but we have, um, oh, we get that part already. Pollard, yeah, it continues by saying we just need to go back and look at the way we have performed and see if we can uh, maybe find a medium um, as to how we approach it. It's very important we forget a game like this. For us, it's pretty simple. Accept and move on. Yeah, man, very simple. Accept and move on. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Pollard started to find a positive by praising the intensity in the field of his players as England 
chase their small total. And as I would have said in my video yesterday, that is the only positive. The guys that bowled the couple of overs, Hussein, Rampal, and, and, and McCoy, they didn't look too bad. You understand? And um, the feelers, they tried, they, they, they tried, Wash came on the field, you know, he, he was mobile doing his thing. So, you know, but they have no other, they have no other, they have no other choice but to be intense, you know, but to be um, put out a lot of intensity on the field when they have a total like this. So all those who would make runs and go out there and, and, and Lele and Jaja, everybody had to put all hands on deck and show some intensity. You understand? Now, the, the, the article goes on and said that um, an England victory was all but um, a formality. However, um, and for Adil Rashid, it was the day to remember England's spinner taking 4 for 2 from 2.2 .2 overs. But my viewers and subscribers, I vent in the video yesterday, so I, I won't even send my blood pressure up in this one. I just share in the article. No, Rashid said afterwards, and I quote, I don't think we could have asked for a better start. We bowled exceptionally well and everything went to plan. Right? He added. Now he also goes on to say, as a bowling unit, we know we have five or six match winners and, and, and at any given day, anyone can come good and get wickets. Right? We don't want to look too far ahead and we'll take it a game at a time. Right? Whatsoever is in front of us, we'll play that. So that is Adil Rashid, you know, just being cool, calm and collective after helping to dismantle West Indies. And the article closes off by saying West Indies are next in action on Tuesday when they play South Africa, while England must wait until Wednesday for a clash with Bangladesh. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. That is what our captain have to say after, after, has to say after this performance. Just letting us know that they are taking it on the chin and all they want to do is put this game behind them and move on. You understand? So at least they came out and addressed the fans. You know, putting this game behind us, you know, it is important to put the game behind us, but it is also important to talk about it, analyze it, see where they went wrong and what needs to be done. We are not, as I said before, we are not going to support this team blind. And for all of those who are going to say, hear what? We need to stop the noise and support the team. You can pressure the dislike button. You understand? Because that is how I, that is how I look at it. You know? We are not going to support the team blind. Foolishness go, go on. They keep up foolishness. We are going to talk about it. Just as how when they win, we go on and we praise them for days. I don't know how many persons remember that series against Australia when we played them and we, we did them good. And Sri Lanka also. For days I praised them up and dazed. You understand? So it is not like I'm going to keep on hanging this over their head. But the game finish, we need to analyze it, look at what happened and then move on. We are not just going to watch it and say, alright. They lose. Let us move on to this to the South um South Africa game. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. And once again, I am telling you, if you are listening here and you think that we we must not analyze the situation and just just watch it, support and move on. Once again, you can pressure the dislike button. You understand? Pressure it, man. Pressure it. You know, usually we go ahead and tell people to like up the video, but if you can't reason the thing. In the sense that you, th you know, to know that if they put on such a performance, we need to analyze it, look at what went wrong, and move on. If you can if you cannot, if you cannot um, see it like that, brother, I don't go can't tell you to pressure the dislike button. But yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, we're going to leave this England West Indies one right here for now. India, and um, by the time you are hearing this, India and Pakistan probably would have started their game. We want to do a little watch along for as long as 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 we can. You understand and see how it go from there. But we're going to leave this one right here. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Subscribe to the channel.